Looking back, it's hard to imagine how one little fruit could cause so much pain. This is lemonade. When we moved to Reading, we thought we would be safe. This is supposed to be a nice community. We wanted to raise our kids here. We never thought something like this could happen to people like us. Between 3.12 and 3.15 p.m. Saturday, June 8th, the unimaginable happened. At the intersection of Longview Road and Lainton Way, an ordinary afternoon turned into a waking nightmare for the Sinclair family. How's it going? Good. Any customers yet? Uh, we got one. one. And um, he didn't have any money, so we just gave him one for free. Oh, that's nice of you. Mama! Eventually, they did get some customers and earned some money. And that's when it all happened. At approximately 3.12 p.m., all three kids had abandoned the lemonade stand for other pursuits. They left the money on top of the lemonade stand, in a cup, next to another cup of lemonade. At 3.15 p.m., when they returned, they saw that the cup was missing. Both cups, actually. The lemonade cup was on the ground next to the stand, with a lemonade splatter puddle nearby. There are also footprints leading out of the puddle up the street. I was working on my jump shot and I wasn't paying attention to the stand and so my money got stolen and I was really upset. You know what? I did see a black car go by. Maybe it was them. I wish I was full of tacos instead of emotions. Who would do such a thing? It was time to get some answers. Chloe, where were you when the money was taken? Um, I was... <laughs> Party? That's not true. But then again, she's way too adorable to have committed such a heinous crime. We needed Blake. Blake was the neighborhood science enthusiast. She was always going on about velocity and temperature. We never really listened, but we knew we needed to listen now. Based on the shape of the drops and the distance between them, you should be looking for, so for someone between 46 and 56 inches tall with an arm length of 15, about 15 inches long. It wasn't much to go on. Luckily, we had an eyewitness. So I was sitting here earlier and I swear I saw like a kid come walking by and he got like on his hands and knees and then he was gone. And I don't know. It was kind of weird. I couldn't get up and see who it was, though, because I broke my ankle. So I, like, tried to peek and figure it out. But And it looked like the kid um, in Trent and Owen's class. Um, and he's a real stinker. It starts with, like, a B, like, Bobby, Billy. Banjo. Banjo. I don't know. But he was, like, on his hands and knees. And then he was gone. I don't know. I think, I think he did it. We didn't know anyone named Banjo. And why would he be on his hands and knees? Was that even a real cast? Go for it again. Hey, did you guys hear about that lemonade stand? Those kids got robbed. They were just they trying to... Oh my god, you know, what happened? Just, those kids need a lot of money. They're just looking for money. Oh, 
looking for money. They have Maybe. low hanging. Oh, you know what I always though. say? Maybe when you're when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Yeah. I guess we'll really never know what happened.